Hey guys, it's Isaiah from Player Development. In the interest of conditioning and staying in shape in the time when a lot of gyms are closed, um, I'm bringing you a 10-minute kettlebell conditioning workout today. This utilizes um, interval training, so we'll do 10 rounds of one minute each for each exercise. Um, so this incorporates a lot of the moves that we've already learned and practiced in previous videos. So you can check those out if you need instructions on how to complete those properly and avoid injury. Um, so the way this is going to work, again, 10 rounds of one minute each. So once you finish the rep count for that minute, then you have a break and rest until the next minute starts up. It would be really helpful if you had an interval timer app or um, a stopwatch or something that lets you record the time so you can keep track of your rest and your active modes. Um, so Follow along. I'm not doing the entire 10 minute workout, but I'll show you and demo each move as we progress. Alright, to set up for this workout, you're going to need either one medium weight kettlebell or one light and one heavy. So on my left side, I've got a 20 pounder, on my right side, I have a 40 pound kettlebell. So, first minute, what you're going to do is 15 kettlebell swings. If you're using a heavy or a medium weight kettlebell, what you can do is just do a normal two-handed swing for 15 reps. If you're using a lighter medium, you can do one-handed swings, alternating hands for 15 reps. And that's minute one. As you get into minute two, we're going to do overhead presses. So take your medium or lightweight kettlebell, you're gonna clean it up. One, your first hand, eight reps here. Then bring it down, clean it up, other hand, eight reps. And that's minute two. Minute three is going to be kettlebell swings again. Same rep count, 15 reps, either your two-handed swings on your heavy or your one-handed alternate swings on your light or medium kettlebell. Minute number four is going to be squats. So you take the heaviest kettlebell you have available, clean it up, goblet squats, 15 of these. And then you're going to alternate again, back to kettlebell swings, again, 15 reps. So that would be minute five. And then minute six is going to be just cleans. So you take your medium or your lightweight kettlebell, and it's going to be, again, eight per side. So you can either do eight on one side and then eight on the other, or you can alternate sides as you go. Again then, alternating with kettlebell swings, that would be minute seven. And then minute eight is going to be snatches. So take your medium or lightweight kettlebell, doing 15 snatches, or eight per hand, eight per side. And again, I'm doing mine on one side and then switching to the other, but you can switch hands with each rep as well. part. This is going to be where you push yourself, you're in the last minute, and what we're going to do is a combination move, a clean and a press. And there's no rep count on this, it's as many reps as possible within the one minute. So I'll just demo the move here, clean the kettlebell, press it up, bring it down, switch hands, clean, press. Switch again, clean, press. 
Each clean and press counts as one rep. So comment below how many reps you get at the end of this workout. My count is 14 right now. So I'm looking forward to see who can beat that and do more reps than that in one minute. Um, so that's the entirety of the workout. I'll also attach a PDF listing all the rep counts and um, the specific exercises and moves um, and attachment down below. So go ahead and click on that if you just want a paper to follow off of. And I hope this is a good workout for you all. And I'll see you guys next time.